Hi guys, thanks for stopping by. So today I have a haul to share with you from my trip to the States where I just came back from. And these are things I got at Michael's at um, Hobby Lobby, one item from Joanne. And um, I think there's one, uh, just a couple of items from, from a different store. So yeah. These are all things that are either very hard to get in Europe or let's say Austria or Germany. Um, so either we don't get them at all, either they're hard to get or they're very expensive. So yeah, these are what I chose to get. And I did get some more stuff, but um, the other things are gifts and I don't wanna show them here because I do want them to be a surprise. So starting off, um, I got a whole bag of these cheap paints um, and most of them are from Anita's all-purpose acrylic craft paint. They were, they were from Michael's and they're 77 cents and they were off I think another 20%. I mean the, the, those prices are insane. If you're in the US I think this is normal but for coming from Europe, this is insane, these prices. So I got like, I don't know, I think it's like 18 or 20 different colors. So that's that. Then I got these cute little envelopes, um, five different designs. They had a lot more, but this is actually from a store um, at a, I think it was at the Citadel outlet near LA um, and it's from this um, Japanese store here I'm not sure how you pronounce it Ma Mawa Mawaya Ma yeah something like that <laughs> anyway so this is the business card the um, let's see is there a website yeah www.mawaya.com is the email address uh the website in case you want to check out what else they have they have all these cute typical japanese style things so got these envelopes then i got these three inserts for my traveler's notebook they were in a set and i apologize i don't have prices for these because i got rid of all my receipts before coming back to austria so i wouldn't have any issues at customs so unfortunately I really don't have all the prices so anyway so this was a set so this was says you and me wild and free and this is a dotted grid then the second one which has like some cacti um, is a calendar without any without any dates so weekly weekly spread a week on each side and you can fill in which week um, so that's awesome and the third one is just uh, blank so very happy with those I was actually hoping to find more travelers notebook stuff and I've seen in other um, people's videos that I think Michaels had some um, travelers notebooks and inserts and other accessories but when I was there none of these stores had stores had any so these were the only things I found for my traveler's notebook which I was a bit sad about but oh well it is what it is I found other nice stuff though so that's okay so then I found oh this this is actually from Barnes and Nobles it's just a journal with this cute um, wooden button for the for the um, bookmark here and it has this beautiful handmade paper very thick um, so I love that I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna use this for it's a kind of like a a six size I think it's quite thick so I'm um, looking forward to using that and this is also something that's from a different store I got this in um, Flagstaff at a like a gift shop it's one of these um, I'm not sure what the material is it's not plastic, I don't think. Um, it's like a cloth thing inside. In any case, I like it. it says be happy. Um, 
Then I got a whole bunch of magazines. Some of them I actually already threw out because they were like for card making and stuff. I'm not, I do make cards, but not in that style. So I basically got it, got the magazines just for the, the goodies that came with it. Um, so unfortunately, I don't know which magazines they came from, but they were from Michael's. So you would be able to find them there. And all these goodies, we don't have this in Europe. So um, I really enjoy just getting these. So this is one um, with a theme of coffee break. Um, so there's a stencil and there's all these cute little stamps and a die cut here actually. Um, then the other one was um, maybe the magazine is called Garden Days. I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. No, so it was uh, also like a card making or stamping magazine. Um, and it has all these nice stamps. And the third one was a card making magazine and it had these stamps as well with all these animals. And then the other magazines I got was this paper crafting. The reason why I get all these magazines there is because here First of all, most of them we don't have, and the very few that we can get here are extremely expensive, and usually they're not available in English. So I buy whatever I can get my hands on, basically, when I'm in the States, which hasn't been for a really, really long time. So I got this um, Do magazine, which was featuring the paper crafting. I don't think they have this theme every every magazine. I think they switch. I think like, like next time they have... a beading theme so i got this one then i got this somerset life which is really nice um has some beautiful like home decor things in it and all kinds of really nice crafts beautiful photos i love these photos that they have that i can also just use to cut out and put in journals really 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 nice then this was a must-have um, I've only had one previous issue of these is the art journaling um, I haven't even had a chance to look at this one but oh I love these um, so it has all these wonderful features all these different artists and their um, art journal spreads and then just interviews with them and showing what techniques they use. Oh, adore this magazine. And the other one that, of course, I had to get is Daphne's Diary. We do have this in German here, but I really don't want to read it in German. And yeah, I think most of you know Daphne's Diaries and just lovely, lovely, lovely. And I'm going to be using a lot of the images and the things you can cut out and stuff I know a lot of you just collect the magazines and then don't want to cut things out but I actually do that and I really use all the bits and, and goodies that are in here so next sticking maybe to paper things I got these all these like little cards and stuff something we don't have here at all so these are just note cards three by four inches yeah journaling note cards really cute designs love these kind of things i know for guys for you you ladies living in the states this is something so normal but for for us here this is really special so that's these then i got these um legacy 36 cards authentic life cards three by four pocket crafting cards $4.99 it says on here so oh God, just so fun so gorgeous I wish we could get these kind of things here and these are things I don't really like buying on Amazon or Etsy because paper is heavy and the shipping costs are usually a lot more than the items themselves so it just doesn't make any sense um, this is a 24 piece recollections postcards thing $5.99 so this has several of always the same theme so this is be happy and then there's this hello one and then there 
sending love and hugs. Just a golden dragonfly. Yep, so on the back they look like this. So you can actually use them as postcards. Duh, that's what they're made for. <laughs> then I have these. Um, what are these? Project Life cards, four by six cards. Um, they were two ninety nine. These were actually, ah oh wait, these were from Hobby Lobby. So no, I'm not sure. The other ones, I'm not sure. I want to say they're from Michaels, but not hundred percent sure. Either one of those two stores. And yeah, I know most of you know Project Life cards, but again, for me, these are so special and they're so cute and I can't wait to use these. And then, oops, sorry, just bumped the camera. Um, these are from Secret Gardenia Paper Pad, 36 different ones. Um, yeah, so just a quick flip through. Just gorgeous. Okay, so that was that was all of the paper goods. Next, um, oh no, wait, here, sorry, I have some sticky notes um, from Jot. Um, says create your own sunshine I just thought these were really cute next we have these um, post-its that obviously are for a planner because they have these perforated holes on the side but I thought they were so cute um, so they're these so you get it girl make a list plan it and to do then I have some Water brushes from Hobby Lobby, just three different widths. Then I have some things for adding charms to my journals in, um, what are they, like brass color, I think they are. Um, because for some reason, this color is really hard to get here. I can get silver, I can get gold, but I don't have this kind of brass color then I bought this um, cute charm um, with these two little feathers that I'm gonna add to my one of my travelers notebooks then I have these um, sticky tabs okay then I got these um, like paper clip things for the planner which I thought were really cute. Wait, maybe let I take them out so I don't have all that glare. So this is what they look like. I thought they're so adorable. And I also got these with these little pom poms on them. Then some of the stamps I got were. Um, so these from Hero Arts, um, just some alphas, really cute though. Then um, these from Recollections, um, again I think these are made for planner because they have these perforated edges, but it doesn't matter. So just alphas, numbers, and these like frames, and then some like little symbols for the planner, which. I don't think I'll be using. I don't do that sort of planning. Then these um, from Finnevere. Um, this is called post postal set, and I don't really care for this stencil, but I do love these um, stamps very much. Then another one from Finnevere. Um, this is called Dream Without. Fear. Um, also amazingly cute stamps and this stencil came with it. Yeah, this is what I could actually use. Then I did get a few more stencils. So there's this. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby. 
um, and it's called I don't know what it's called uh, I don't know but anyway this is what it looks like um, we'll definitely be using these maybe maybe I'll use these for like coffee staining um, paper and this one as well um, deco art americana just some cute different words that you can stencil and this one which is called it's also deco art americana plantilla i don't know anyway it's like a wish i don't know what they're called <laughs> okay um then maybe continuing with stamping i got these little alphas which are very cute and I got this set of alphas, which I thought was really interesting from Recollections. Um, it's called Signature Especial 36 uppercase alphabet um, stamps. And the cool thing about this, I've never seen this before, is that you can combine these, wait, it says here actually, uh, uppercase clip, clickable letter stamp set. Stamps click together to form words and phrases. So they, they look like this. And so you can basically form words by clicking. So if you want hi, for example, um, you just click these together and then you stamp it so that they're all this lined up um, perfectly, which is really cool. I always have a problem with that. So that I thought was a very cool um, thing. And, and also, um, no, I can't get it back together. Wait, sorry. Um, so also what's cool is it, they have more than one of each letter, for most letters anyway. So it should be quite easy to form the words. So that was that very happy with that particular find then I have this this one just says so very thankful and then this one is a set of travel stamps very sweet this one I think was very cheap then I have these two rollable stamps um, and this just has a bunch of different words on it like I mean these are for obviously for planners as well like focus and this week and th there's like an arrow and there's like a to do top priority important today reminder we don't have any like these either goals so I thought that was kind of cool and then this one is a date one with just the month the day and the year but what I really liked about it is that the month is written in this really nice script so those are both from no sorry so one is from Heidi Swap and one is from create 365 the happy planner then I also got some stamping ink so this was actually on one of the magazine so I didn't buy this but this is gonna come in very handy then I bought another one, one of these distress inks from Ranger um, vintage photo because I only have a small one of these and then I found these a set of archival inks um, Hobby Lobby with these four cute colors I love these small travel sizes then I also got a wax seal with a red wax and um, a little envelope as the seal then I got some all right let's do washies next so I got a whole bunch of washies so this one says live love laugh and they were all very cheap they had them like in a huge bin um, I don't remember the exact price but I remember they were very cheap and this one just says, I don't really get this actually. It says to today. So I don't really get the to part. So it says to today, to today. 
Um, I don't know, are you supposed to cut them up? Because I don't really don't get this combination of the two words. Maybe I'm just being my very stupid about it, but no idea. So then I got this stripy one, and then these cute cupcakes, just dots. This one is so cute. It has like all these fruits. Wait, I have to open this one up for you. All these very cute, like watercolor style fruits. Love this one. Then there's this one that's cute as well. It says like, take note, dream big, hello, today. And these cute colors. I got this one especially because it fits so perfectly with my travel journal that I was using. So I just had to get that one. Then there's just these cute little hearts. More hearts. This one is also very, very cute. I have to just show you this one. So like watercolor hearts, so sweet. Then there's this one with a an inch measuring tape. Then there's this floral one. So like desert, desert florals. So if you haven't checked out their washi bins, oh my gosh, you should. So this was Hobby Lobby, by the way. And this one is a black one with like a chalkboard writing on it, which it says, just says with love. And lastly, then this checkered one. And then my last, almost last thing I want to show you was just some adhesives. Not very exciting, but so just some Elmer's school glue school glue that's a hard one um then this i found um it's uh oh this was at jo joanne's actually um just original tacky glue i know you can get the tacky glue anywhere but i just happened to see this when i was at the register because it's such a nice handy travel size so i had to get this then um oh this was also from that japanese store from the outlet it's just a little um white out um, very handy to take with you it's so small and these this I don't remember this might have been Hobby Lobby just these small um, correction tapes some glue dots because we don't have these here at all and just some glue sticks because they were a lot cheaper and lastly now I bought this oops, and this was from, from Joanne's um, I bought this Memory Keeper Crocodile Hole Punch and Eyelet Setter because I do have a hole punch, I do have this eyelet setter, but this one is so hard to work that it takes me so much strength to get an eyelet in that I really wanted to get this one and it was uh, marked off $10, so that was awesome. So it was, original price was 29 90 so I got it for 1990 and I'm so happy I found this one thing I could not find in any of the stores were the Ranger distress stains I don't know why I don't know where you guys buy them but I was really disappointed not to find those at all so maybe you can let me know I mean I know I can get them from Amazon but I was hoping to buy them somewhere um, directly so maybe you can just write me in the comments below if you know where you can actually find those in the stores yeah so that was it um it, it's a lot of stuff <laughs> and um yeah really looking forward to use it all and wish you a wonderful day thanks bye